Hello guys, hey. Ah, uh, welcome to a new studio vlog. I never know how to start this, <laughs> especially because I just finished to, to record the outro of my previous vlog. It's very weird. <laughs> how are you? Today is Tuesday, the day after, um, yeah, it's the 6th of April, and a new tax year has started. That is very exciting. <laughs> During the last week, I've been working on my business just was here if you're new here i run a small business uh, where i sell illustrated products you can find stickers stationery other little things and also this brand new tote bag that i just finished to paint and, and i have to send to a customer this was bought by a close friend of mine thanks Chikla. <laughs> it was very fun honestly i really enjoyed focusing just on my business creating many products um as i told you i've been designing washi tape some enamel pins so now today is the as i said it's the 6th of april but i haven't shared the designs of the enamel pins on instagram that is something that i need to do to yeah to see what people think about it um if they like them yeah, especially because I, I think I'm gonna sell found them and uh, so yeah, it's a bit of money that is involved in the thing as you can imagine But anyway, I'm still uh, waiting for the reply from other manufacturer because I contacted a few uh, So then I can decide yeah, what's the best one to work with However, yeah, I can't continue working just all these kind of things. Sadly, I have to move back on my university project. If you're new here and you don't know me, I'm also a part-time student. I'm attending a master in children's book illustration in Cambridge. Um, I'm currently working on a children's book, on a picture book. Um, yeah, I have to continue to work on that. I have time to work on the project, uh, but yeah, it's anytime it's very hard to switch back from one thing to another but um, yeah this week i want to work a lot on this project i really don't like when things are dragged too long because then i get bored of them i yeah i think i need to keep moving to make things more interesting and appealing so yeah let's do it As you just seen, I've cut out uh, these shapes. I'm gonna use a stencil technique. So these are gonna be my stencils and I'm gonna use a sponge to paint inside them. Then I'm gonna scan all the images and combine them together on Photoshop. <laughs> I did the first layer. If I wanted, I oh, I could uh, overlay this and do the layer, the darker layer on top. But it's better if I do the layer separately. So then I'm able to adjust the intensity, the darkness of the shapes. In fact, I believe these are too dark for what I was looking for, but I can easily adjust it on Photoshop. Of course, you can do everything uh, with, on just one single piece of paper. It's what I was doing before when I was trying this technique for the first time. It was very satisfying to see the final work just on one piece. But yeah, I want to work in a more efficient way. Um, and I'm, I know that now stamping the second layer on a different uh, sheet of paper 
is gonna help me in the process of creating the final artwork. I don't know if it makes sense, but you, you, you're gonna see. <laughs> so this is the second one. I was also using some tape to hold the stencil, but I realized that I can easily hold it with my hand. If you were wondering, um, I used um, uh, a card. Um, I mean, I haven't printed on normal copy paper. This is just a bit thicker, probably was 160 GMS. Uh, because the first time I, I tried to, to use uh, just a normal copy paper, but it was getting wet <laughs> too easily, so yeah, it doesn't hold very well the ink. Instead, this one is quite good. It's nothing professional, I'm just using the materials I have at home. So, and about the ink, I'm using um, Caligo Safe Wash. So, it's very oily, so it spreads very well. <laughs> it's what you, you normally use for lino cut uh, or other printmaking techniques. But since it is washable, and that is very good. <laughs> If I were using oil color, I guess it would be quite a pain. <laughs> and I'm using uh, a piece of glass as a palette. Uh, this is very, very useful, very easy to clean. And um, well, this comes from uh, an IKEA cabinet. <laughs> Before I was using, I remember, um, frame. Yeah, the glass of a frame. Even if that was a bit thin, so I had to be careful not to break it. <laughs> Yeah, it can be dangerous of course but no this is absolutely perfect because it's very thick i have also the roller i <laughs> don't know yeah the the real name of this thing and um, i'm using it just to spread the ink on the glass from my experience the roller is not very good for this because it's not able to reach the edges uh yeah <laughs> probably it's good just for a very big surface oh -ho! here it is so yeah now i'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna scan these images. Hey guys, I just got a couple of deliveries and I got the um, findings yeah, to, to make the earrings. In my previous vlog, as you may have seen, I was working on some clay pins that I haven't finished to paint yet, but I also wanted to make some earrings. I couldn't decide between gold or silver, so I got both of them. And then I got a, a delivery from another small business. This is from Sanna. Uh, she's a lovely illustrator. She, her work is uh, amazing. Yeah, this is an order I made from the e e Hearts Market. Sanna comes from Sweden, so yeah, it, it took a bit longer, of course, to arrive. <laughs> I completely destroyed the paper. Oh! Thank you, not. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I, I use an envelope uh, to a small envelope to put the stickers, but this is way prettier. <laughs> it's pink. Yeah. So yeah, this is her thank you card. Oh, oh. So her business is called Starlink Illustration. In general, I'm not into <laughs> pretty girls. Um, <laughs> I never really draw humans. I mean, I used to do it. But mostly for my job but I prefer uh, way more drawing animals so yeah in general I don't buy uh, art prints with people <laughs> but yeah I really, really like liked the, her illustration style yeah I thought that this mermaid was beautiful and here I got also a sticker oh freebies oh wow yeah so this is the sticker that I bought I like the quality because it's not super glossy Thank you, thank you so much, Sanna. <laughs> My tripod is a bit broken. Mm. Good, very good. Um, hello, guys. I know that I said that I wanted to work on these illustrations the whole day, the whole week, whatever. But yeah, now <laughs> instead I'm gonna take a few pictures of the bag that you have just seen, the tote bag, together with my notepads. Yes, because I'm part of the Indie Roller membership and around... I don't remember when was that? 
Oh uh, yeah, I believe on the 17th of April uh, we are running a kind of special offer, a bundle offer. Uh, well, of course, whoever wants to join. Um, so no, it's, it's not an online market. Simply for the specific day, all the members are gonna offer a special bundle. Um, so different items together for a special price. And I was thinking so to sell the, the bag together with the two notepads, so the weekly planner and the, the to-do list notepad. It would make sense probably if I were selling the, my notebooks instead of the notepads. Yeah, because the notebook is something that you will maybe carry with you in the tote bag. But the problem with that is that I manually make my notebooks, the one with the spirals. So if I were selling the bag that is handmade together with another product that is handmade, yeah, I believe it would be a bit too much. Yeah, it would require a lot of time to make them. Uh, instead, my notepads, I don't have my, now the weekly planner here next to me, but yeah, this is one of the notepads. And these are already made because these have been manufactured. And so if I sell them, yeah, it's very easy. I simply have to pack them and I have to create just the bags. So I think, yeah, this kind of bundle will work better unless I think about something else. But yeah, I have a bag that is ready. Uh, it's the one that I sold that I, I'm supposed to send tomorrow. And uh, so yeah, since it's ready and nice, I'm gonna take some picture of it together with my notepads. I normally sell the two notepads, so the weekly planner, and uh, together with this to get stuff done notepad for £12.50 together. And the bag instead is £15, and it has included also two button badges. The total of all these items will be normally £27.50, but I'm gonna sell the whole bundle for £20. So all together, I believe it's a, yeah, it's a good value. Mm. Okay, yeah, this studio vlog is gonna uh, come out on Friday the 15th. So yeah, at the end of the video, I'm gonna remind you about the bundle that is gonna happen on Sunday the 17th of April. Okay, well, I don't know how I managed to take these pictures because I don't have much space. So this is the weekly planner, yeah. Uh, the idea was to put it inside but the problem is that I have to take the picture from above and I don't have a good background oh. so yeah the idea was something like this it looks terrible <laughs> mm. probably something like this would be better probably I can remove this pretty much is something like this um I guess I'm gonna change completely the background. Yeah, but now it's better than before. Yeah, now it's even better with the handle like that because it looks like it's dancing. <laughs> okay, so the photos are done. I'm gonna edit them to the tomorrow. Uh, but now I'm gonna go to the post office. I'm gonna drop three orders that I got during the weekend. I would normally leave the small ones in the post box that is right in front of my my building but yeah it, the A4 doesn't fit there. Uh, the good thing about the post office is that there they collect the parcels more often instead in the post box that is in front of my building they collect just early in the morning so if I were leaving something in the post box right now it would be collected just tomorrow morning. And I'm gonna put the orders inside my bag. This is not the one that you saw before, this is mine. This is the first prototype I made.
normally don't don't wear earrings but i love them so much <laughs> i usually don't wear much jewelry i used to wear it a bit more when i was going out clearly before covid but yeah look at them Good morning guys, happy Sunday! I thought I could talk a bit about my art prints. I don't have many art prints but these illustrations, these are inspired by the Beatles and they are for children, for nursery rooms and I sell them in my Etsy shop. I didn't put them in my own shop because they are, <laughs> they are completely different from what I'm, I'm doing in, with Jess was here. I started selling them at the end of 2019 um, yeah, sometimes I'm still selling them. I sold the whole set and then I have to print also the Harry Potter one. The Harry Potter print is another thing that I didn't put in my shop because it has a different style, but also I don't want to put fan arts in my own shop. Probably I'm gonna remove it from my Etsy as well. Yeah, the printer has just finished. Well done, printer. <laughs> so this big boy is a Pitma Pro 100 by Canon. Uh, really really like it it's very noisy <laughs> the cost of the printer is not that bad i paid it around 300 pounds uh, the problem is that the ink is super expensive this printer uses i believe nine cartridges and the whole cost of the cartridges is something like 100 pounds <laughs> so yeah the problem with this printer is the ink i really like this printer um first of all the quality of the ink is very very good um, I have understood if it's archival I don't think that you get Gicle prints I don't even know what the hell a Gicle print is uh, because for, with, for a Gicle print you need a, a pigment ink printer instead is a dye ink I don't even know what the hell it means <laughs> but this is a, a more affordable version compared to a pigment printer but anyway, the ink is able to last for decades if used on a archival paper and the archival paper I'm using is this one from by Marut so it's not super thick because it's a 230 GMS I think it is the only thickness I could find uh, for the matte version and I can say that it's pretty affordable compared to other archival uh, papers but before this one I was using the one by Canon uh, I don't have that box anymore of the Canon one uh, but you can see the difference so this is the one by Marut and it's very wide instead the one by Canon it's fine I mean I was getting nice colors as well but it's a bit off-white you can see it's a bit yellowish so it depends on what kind of color you prefer and also the Canon one is more expensive compared to the Marut so yeah I like this one more and, and also I want to show you how I print so pretty much if I have to print I don't print directly from Photoshop but I go to automate and I open Canon Print Studio Pro this is a software that I installed that is specific for Canon printers and here yeah you can change the format so this this is supposed to be an A3 but supposed to have zero margins but something very important is the printer profile uh, this is a, a file that you have to install uh, in your computer and thanks to that you get a perfect accuracy of the colors and each profile is specific for the kind of paper that you are using and the kind of printer you're gonna to print with so simply I went to Marut website so the the paper company and then I checked I yeah I looked for my printer so the Canon Pixma Pro 100 and I selected yeah the kind of paper that um, um, I bought uh, yeah then simply go to print uh, okay there you go this instead is the Harry Potter print I talked about. This is gonna be an A4, so I simply cut the A3 half. If I want it, I can print uh, two prints per time, but weirdly, when I try to do so, 
the printer is smudging on this side. Yeah, I don't know why. So I prefer to print one per time, then I cut it half and then I use the other A4 by itself. And as you can see, this print compared to the others um, is very rich in color. Yeah, it's completely full <laughs> of ink. And weirdly, I was having a problem with this specific print. These are two prints that I'm going to sell as seconds. Um, I also cut the white border. Normally I will uh, sell it with a white border around. Anyway, yeah, as you can see here, there's a white dot. Yeah. There are also yeah, a couple of small ones here. If you can see, uh, more or less what happened is that there was some dust on the paper. So when the printer was <laughs> printing, it printed on the dust and then the dust fell down. And so yeah, it left a white spot. Uh, yeah, this is very frustrating. <laughs> I could understand why the printer was doing this, um, but then I read that is the dust. So now more or less when I'm printing this one in particular, I'm like blowing over the paper to remove any eventual particles. Uh, yeah, I think it's working. Yeah, sorry, I'm not showing myself because you know, I'm still in my pyjama. <laughs> okay, while the printer is still going, you can see. I wanted to talk about the uh, paper trimmer. First of all, I bought this one. This is a guillotine by Tonic, but um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't get this one because you're gonna get wonky prints. They talked very well about this and I paid it more than 30 quid. I mean, it cuts very, very nicely, but uh, it was wonky. Um, then I got this one by Fiskars and uh, it's pretty nice. I, I kept this for more than one year. Uh, it's pretty affordable. Problem is that despite I changed the blade, uh, the cut up I was getting wasn't that sharp, that neat, uh, so I really didn't like it. So in the end, I decided to upgrade to this based. This is one of the best purchases I could ever do. Of course, I can use it for my art prints, but I'm using it for many other things, such as the notebooks. I cut more or less everything, but it's not very handy if you're trying to cut something small. This is by this. <laughs> brand and this is a German brand and I got it last October I believe this was of course more expensive I probably I paid it 85 uh, the good thing is that it, it has a self sharpening uh, rotary thing so it means that the blade keeps uh, sharp just by using it and this is amazing <laughs> because otherwise you need to change it uh, if you are using uh, another kind of trimmer. So yeah, now I'm gonna cut everything. There's also a guide, a magnetic guide that you can use. It's very handy. These prints are 8 inches. Okay, I already know that this print now is gonna fall down <laughs> in the void. <laughs> so I'm gonna put something in here. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And now the other side. is a perfect square. I used to be very nervous when I was cutting my prints precisely because my the paper trimmers I was using weren't that good. Instead with this, yeah, I feel pretty confident. Hey, yeah, it's time to record the outro of this video. Today is the 16th of April. Um, the footage that you see is a bit older. Uh, yeah, I recorded the part about the printer on Sunday and now it's Friday. 
I have recorded more but I prefer to keep that for the next vlog I personally prefer doing shorter vlogs probably some of you will prefer having the super long ones uh, but uh, it works better in this way for me um, yeah today is Friday and tomorrow it's the 17th of April so the bundle offer is happening I'm running an offer through Indie Roller and I'm gonna offer the tote bag together with my notepads that you have seen before so in the last two days I have been <laughs> printing all these bags so these are four. Actually, I had six bags in total, uh, but I ruined two of them. I did some mistakes, so I'm not able to sell them. And that is very sad. But yeah, at least now I have four uh, in stock, so they are ready to go in case I sell. Unfortunately, the supplier of this pink bag has run out of the pink bags and they are gonna get back in a few days so if you want to get the bundle uh, bear in mind that uh, so I have a very limited number of bags and if I sell all of them you have to wait a bit longer because I have to wait yeah that the bags uh, get back in stock and you don't need any code to get the bundle yeah you simply go to my website justwocl.com and you'll find it there and i'm also thinking about launching another bundle and I have to take the pictures of that and it's gonna be the acrylic keychain the acrylic pin together with the vinyl sticker yeah all the cats together i haven't defined the price for this one yet yeah but you'll find it in the website uh, i'm still wearing jumpers because uh, this month has been super cold uh, yeah, spring hasn't arrived yet, but today is a bit warmer. Yoohoo! Okay guys, I'm gonna end the studio vlog here and thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Bye!